Hello everybody, welcome back. Another short ride with the stud, number 41. Wow, we're cranking them out for you. Uh, we're going to go, this one we're going to look at a little continental. Um, uh, this was uh, probably, uh, I'm going to think it's uh, probably 85, 1985, uh, maybe uh, fall of 85. Uh, and it opens up, uh, I think it's maybe around Christmas time, as a matter of fact. And it's going to open up with, uh, it start off with Adrian Street. Uh, wow, what a character, Adrian Street. I mean, there's only one. Uh, and, uh, and after you see him, <laughs> you'll know what I mean. And, uh, and I'm sure most of you have seen Adrian Street before. But uh, this is Adrian, and uh, he's having uh, some matches with uh, Norville Austin at this point. Uh, they had uh, matches all over the southern part of the United States and some tremendous matches. And a lot of them involved uh, uh, Adrian's uh, lady, Linda, uh, who had been with him for a lifetime. And uh, Norvell's going to end up having him a couple of ladies because he has to, basically, uh, to compete because Linda wants to continually get in the match and get in the ring herself in order to help Adrian. So what you're going to see here to start with is going to open up with Adrian and then it's going to close with uh, Gordon Sully starting a segment in which he's, he knows what the fans are going to see and him and Norvell are having such a good uh, time with uh, what fans are about to get a look at that uh, you, it's, it's really nice. It's great to see Gordon have a great time like this and Norvell at the same time. And uh, So uh, let's have a look at it. The belt that I have in my hand right now is the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship belt. It's the only pink championship belt known of uh, in existence at this particular time. And the gentleman who owns this belt at this particular time is the exotic Adrian Street. In the amateur ranks, he was a world middleweight wrestling champion. And right now, we're going to take a look at a very, very special segment on the Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, the exotic Adrian Street. Two. Whenever you see the exotic Adrian Street, Miss Linda is sure to be. And a lot of people have accused uh, Miss Linda of, a, of interfering in matches. However, Miss Candy Devine one evening uh, started to put a stop to that. She's, uh, what is she, a protege of that um, gollywog and that uh, giant Maxine? Yes. Yeah, she did. I mean, Miss Linda, well, she is an American, so what do you expect? I mean, Miss Linda is very well bred, very well brought up. She would never dream of interfering in a match. But then it's the sort of thing I get to expect from Americans, you know? They never keep their nose out of, they never keep uh, their noses out of world affairs. They don't keep their nose out of my business either. But I will teach them. Well, I'll tell you what let's do right now. Let's take a look at the incident that happened when Candy Devine did come down to the ring. And there was Miss Linda. Very obviously interfering in the match. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody else has just entered the ring. And that is very definitely... Wow! I was about to say a lady... Listen to the crowd go absolutely berserk. This crowd is going absolutely wild. And whoever this woman is, she is giving Miss Linda her comeuppance. She has exploded all over the ring. Brother! You talk about something happening. Well, it was just one week later that uh, Candy Devine uh, joined Norvell Austin in a mixed tag team match against you and Miss Linda. And I must say, uh, Mr. Street, you did the most reprehensible act I've ever seen in wrestling. Reprehensible? I thought it was wonderful. That's exactly the way you, should, you American men should treat your women. Put them in their place. Well, he did that for sure. Did you see that? Norvell Austin has Miss Linda. But look at Street has 
is Tammy Devine. Straight, bringing Tammy Devine up. Oh! A pile driver. Oh, brother. Well, I have just lost whatever respect I had for the exotic Adrian Street. I have just lost it. I suppose it falls within the legal parameters. For the word, however, let's turn it over. Uh -uh, we've got a hurt young lady here. We have an injured young lady in Candy Devine. Well, Candy Devine and Norvell Austin are coming back. I've heard all that before, Gordon, coming back, coming back. There's lots of people that said they're coming back, but where are they? If she comes back, well, all I've got to say is, I'll put it down to two things. Lack of brain power, which I suppose accounts for one thing, being American, and another one being a female. <laughs> Points made by uh, the exotic Adrian Street regarding Candy Devine and Norvell Austin. Now through the magic of video, we're going to jump to the set. Norvell Austin has joined me. Right on, Gordon. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everybody out there, and I'm just glad to be here with you. I'll tell you what, it's a pleasure to have Norvell Austin with us. Let me tell you something else. It was not too terribly long ago that Norvell came to this very set and introduced a segment on the exotic Adrian Street, and, uh, well, it got some uh, wild results. Right on. I kind of like that, Gordon. It uh, really got a kick out of it. And I understand, too, Candy Devine is back in action. Right on. She, she'll be back, and she's eager to get back at Adrian Street for what he did to her. Fair enough. Now, let's go back and take a look at that segment. Norvell is a man of uh, many talents and quite a few surprises. And uh, here he comes now. Let's welcome him, if you will, my good friend Norvell Austin. What's going on, my man, Mr. Soli? You well, know, I got stars of uh, the NWA myself. And I'd like for you to show a little flim, film clip that I got, if you don't mind rolling it. Well, I'll tell you what, it's going to come as quite a surprise to everybody. Sort of a uh, variation of tiptoe through the tulips? You got it. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look right now at this very special Stars of the NWA brought to us by Norvell Austin. Well, I, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> did I tell you, Gordon? Yeah, yes, you did. <laughs> I tell you, that was some kind of funky, and I love it. You know well, what I mean? Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, that's the uh, first time we had seen the, uh, well, complete side, if you will, of uh, one exotic Adrian Street. Yeah, well, that's all right. Whoops, wait a minute, what do we got here? Well, it looks like... Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Who gave you permission to do that? Who gave you permission to cross that Who one? Got it? Oh. Wait a second here. Wait just a minute. Hold on. No, wait. Wait. Wait a minute, gentlemen. Break it up. Break it up here. Whoa. Hey. Enough is enough. Well, like you said, of course, uh, Candy Devine is back in action. Right on. She's eager to be back, uh, just like I said, Gordon. And she's going to get the job done. But if she don't get the job done, I got another lady waiting in the wings by the name of Mad Maxine, Lady Maxine. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, uh, what a great time it was back in those days. Uh, had some tremendous wrestlers. Uh, Adrian Street, Miss Linda... Uh, uh, that uh, Maxine, Lady Maxine, I mean, wow. And if that, she was a terror. 
I mean, uh, I'm glad I wasn't Linda. I mean, I'm watching that. Uh, uh, you know, I know where from Norvell found her, and she was about my height. She was a big girl, and uh, and she was a bad one too. So, uh, uh, thank y'all all so much. I hope you enjoyed it again, as always. And, uh, and if you want to see the long ride, uh, these whole shows are out there for you, ClassicContinentalWrestling.com. Uh, just go there and uh, join uh, four ninety nine a month or thirty nine ninety nine for get you a whole year. And uh, I hope you're enjoying these. And uh, we're going to bring you another one.